Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Last time we went around through the past and the present and we got a whole lot of treasure. Some really nice elemental absorbing males. Blue male, white male, black male, red male. We got the vests, which are the lower powered versions. We got a magic ring, increases your magic power by six. We got a dash ring, increasing your speed by three. So we are set up and ready to roll in order to fight Specchio. Yeah, like I said earlier, every 10 or so levels, Specchio changes form, and if you tried to fight him whenever you were like right at level 20, you would be annihilated. But right now, in the middle of level 20, we should be fine. And I like to use this party right here because um, basically all these people have the highest magical defense. And they have the highest magical attack power, at least. Well, Luca does. Uh, you can go ahead and use Napalm. Marl, though, is pretty much going to be on healing duty throughout the entirety of this fight. If I really get lucky and Specchio uses a spell on somebody who is immune or absorbs that element, then she can get in some ice damage. But for the most part, I'm pretty much just going to be having her um, healing up because unfortunately, uh, let's see, lightning, because unfortunately, where are we at? Chrono. Okay. Um, if one of these guys gets hit twice in a row by one of Specchio's spells, more than likely, I'm going to get completely screwed and they're going to die. And if Chrono or Luca dies, this can get really painful really fast and also be really slow too. So I seem to be getting mm, okay luck. I haven't gotten an absorption yet, but nobody's died either, so <laughs> that's really the main thing here. Again, this is an optional fight. You don't have to fight Specchio, but I would recommend doing it, and you're, you know, you're kind of timed to. If you don't do it now, you really won't have another chance to get it done um, before you hit 30. So this is a decent time to get it done. Let's see, let's go to her. Um, yeah, Luca needs a heal. There we go. Wow, I am not getting, like, this is... I mean, okay, nobody's dying, but it would be nice to at least get one absorption. That way I could get... Um, caught up on the healing at least, because if Marl gets- Woo! We got him! Sweet! I was gonna say, if Marl gets hit one more time, she's completely screwed. Most embarrassing. Oh, what do you have? Specchio Choice set a magic tab and five mid-ethers. Oh. Okay. So, we've gotten that taken care of. Um, so now, again, I really, really, really need Robo and Isla to learn their next techs. So, could you go through the damn door? So we're going to be putting them in our party and hopefully getting some more tech points that way. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's talking about one of Scala's sealed up 12,000 BC. The Wings of Time. Oh. Okay. So that's our little clue here um, as far as where to go. We also got that other clue back in, you know, ba back in the magical land whenever they showed us, um, when they showed us the future and they showed him working on the Wings of Time. So you have to go to the future. At this point, when I was a kid and I played this game, I got really, really lost. I didn't know what to do or where to go. I wandered around forever on a day and I hate the future. So I really didn't want to go there and I really didn't want to walk through this entire place again. But unfortunately, you have to. I'm going to go through the lab and meet you on the other side. I've made it on through. If you want to just move on with life, you can go into um, these various domes here and move on with the story. But remember, there's some more stuff over here on the other side of Lab 16. See you there. I've made my way through, so let's see what we got going on here in Banger Dome. This is where we first came into the future. So that warp gate is still there. All this nice stuff. Get a charm top, full ether, and a wallet. Some interesting things here. Okay, so the wallet. That can be equipped on anyone, and basically it makes it so you don't get any experience, but the experience that you would have gotten 
gets turned into additional gold. So you can use that if you want to grind up money and you don't you want the levels, or if you're doing like a low-level game or something along those lines. I never use it, though. Then there is the Charm Top, which is an Isla exclusive accessory. It powers up her charm, which is essentially the stealing ability. So it makes it so that she's able to steal, you know, more often. But I still don't even have steal. I'm getting there. I'm getting there slowly but surely. But man, I've really got to get these abilities like stat. I've got to get them. So now let's go back through this warp gate. There is a reason why I'm doing this. I'm not insane. Brings us back to the end of time. And if you recall, earlier we only had these um, gates available. But by going through this gate, it opens up this gate as well. So now we can go back to Guardia Forest, 1000 AD. Hey, hey, awesome. So, the whole reason why I wanted to come back here was just for this treasure chest, which cannot be powered up in the past, don't worry about it, and you get a power ring. So the power ring, let's see, power plus six, it is very, very nice for your attackers. Um, we'll stick that on him for right now, it really doesn't matter. If you try to leave and go back to the castle, you can't, they put up this blockade. Um, this was, they must have put that up back whenever, back during the trial, and the Chancellor and the guards and all that were chasing us, and then they were like, oh, we'll just let them die and rot there in the woods, because, you know, you can't walk through trees or anything. Yeah. Okay. So, let's go back to Banger Dome. Yeah, a lot of people were like, hey, David, why don't you go back and open up that gate? And I'm like, well, you kind of have to come back here anyway to open up these doors, so you might as well just open it up then. I mean, it's not the biggest deal, but whatever. Okay, so now we can go to the Tran Dome, which they called the True Dome earlier. Let's see. Oh, I'm not a fool. Yeah. So we actually never came back here um, after giving the seed to the people of the previous dome. Um, it looks like... Oh, yeah, the guy came back. So he went through the ruins, and uh, he brought back that sapling. So we get some new dialogue here. That's kind of nice. <laughs> Are we doing more song lyrics now? We got some movie um, dialogue last time. Now we're getting some song lyrics here. Get a magic tab. Awesome. It's going to go straight to Robo. He gets all magic tabs. Golden stud and a full ether. Let's see what the golden stud does. Um, let's see, there it is. Okay, so it cuts your MPs by 75%. That is insane, because as we get more into the end game, some people are gonna be getting techs that cost upwards of 20 MP, and since your maximum MP is 99, that can come in very handy for certain people. Any way. That's everything that we could do here um, on this part of the uh, the future. So, what I want to do is head all the way back to, I think it was Banger Dome? I don't know. The dome that's beyond these ruins here. I'll see you there. Okay, I made it through there. And do not forget that there is another door here in Eris Dome, apparently. I can... Uh, it, it is... I've played this game... For 25 years now, it seems, and I still can't get all the dome names straight. Okay, so my first time through here, I opened up the door, in the, or there's like a little like switch that you have to hit or whatever to open up the door in the back. Um, and I did that the first time through. If you did not do it, or you forgot what it was, or you just didn't feel like it or whatever... You have to hit R and L and then hit the A button at the exact same time, and that will open up the little passageway. Oh, sweet. Oh, you know what? I think you have to go this way. Yeah. So you get in front of that terminal right there, you hit R, uh, R, L, A, and then it opens up the little, the little thing right there. And then anyway, you can make it to this door right here. Okay. What do we have back here? Lumen robe. Power tab. Awesome. 
probably give that power tab to maybe Isla. Eh, we'll see. Okay, we got a lot of different stuff there. Okay, Lumen Road. Um, that could be female only. Let me see. Oh, yeah, magic defense plus five. That's kind of crappy. The magic defense stat just kind of sucks in general. And it's worse than the males that we already got. Let's see what else we got going on here. We got the gold stud. Or, no, wait. No, okay. Uh, we got the gold earring, which increases your maximum HP by 50%. That's really nice if you're working on, like, low-level games and stuff like that. Hit ring raises your strike rate or your hit rate plus 10. That is only useful for Marl and Luca, and then only if you use them as physical attackers. So as far as I'm concerned, it's completely useless because Marl sucks and I would only use Luca for a magical based attacker. So with all that said and done, let me get out of here. I made it out of there. So now let's go inside the sewer. If this is your first time going through the sewer, you might want to go back to your previous video to figure out how to get through here because I've already gone through here whenever you first could. And I've opened up super secret shortcuts to get through here. No problemo. There we are. Okay, we're going to go up Death Peak again. The first time I went up Death Peak, I missed this little power tab and everybody in the comments went crazy. Like, hey, you should get the power tab. Well, guess what? I'm getting it now. The end. So now, let's go inside the Keeper's Dome. Like I said, like you have to go pretty far out of your way to find this place, and uh, it took me quite a bit of time to find it my first time through. Oh. Well, what's that? Really? Sorry about that, I had to make a quick cut there. I saw that my grandmother was calling, and it's her birthday yesterday, and I just wanted to call her and make sure that she got my flowers and all that. And I got a machine earlier, and she called me back, so I just wanted to take that call. Anyway. <laughs> so we talked to a little new there who has a programming error, and here we get some little memory fragments from Balthazar, the guru of reason, who lived in Zeal. Oh. Yeah. Lavos has been here from the get-go. Oh. Took him 65 million years to get stronger, but hey, he got there. Oh, he's talking about Magus there. So Lavos reigns from high atop Death Peak, replicating like a giant parasite. Death Peak is right outside this dome, by the way. I just went there to get the power tab. Oh. Oh. Poor guy. I mean, he's living here all alone on this isolated island. Huh. Mastering time itself. That's no small task. Oh, your last invention. Your wings of time. Will do. I don't know why it's still behind yet another pendant door, but okay. Oh, cool. Look at this. It's called the Wings of Time. I don't see any wings on this. Where are the wings? Oh, well. Yeah. Huh. What is this weird thing, anyway? Hmm. What's going on? Oh, it's the new! I love the new. The new is just so cute. I think he's adorable. Look at him pushing with his big belly. He's not even using his hands to push. He's super cute. <gasps> it's Balthazar. Balthazar, I guess, put his memory into the new. Oh, okay. Oh, sounds easy enough. Why don't I what? Oh, why don't I fall asleep? This thing has narcolepsy. <laughs> Name the time machine. Yeah, the Epoch. Awesome. I love how they even give it like a little, like, like, like its own little art and everything. It's so cool. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. <laughs> Has like a little end professor's message thing, but yeah, it's got on this little, um, I don't know, seat or something. Oh yeah, take off. Awesome. So now we got a little time gauge, and we can go to all sorts of different um, time periods. 
but we can even warp to the apocalypse itself or infinity, the end of time. There's all different places to go to. We can go to the Dark Ages even, even though Scala kind of sealed that place up, but it's not sealed any longer. But what happens if we go here to the apocalypse? I mean, that's a bit much. God, it should have been 2020's The Apocalypse. My God. <laughs> I love this. I, like, Robo is freaking out, but Isla's like, Yeah! Let's beat some bitches up! It's great! Whoa! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yikes! Much, much strong guy. And here we are, sitting, in our epoch, right in front of Lavos, as he just comes splitting out of the earth. Holy crap! Um, maybe this was a mistake? Maybe I should get out of here. Yeah, if you want to fight Lavos here, you can and you can try, but, uh... Away! Get the hell out of there! Yeah, no, because that is certain death, but let's go over to the Dark Ages. Very cool. So we're down here in the ice fields, but we've made it back to the magical time period. But what awaits us here? Can we find Scala and Janice and that prophet and the queen? Find out next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger. This has been David. If you like this, Please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.